Welcome to the Asian Garden here at the Spooner Egg Research Center. Gardening brings balance to both body and mind. It also brings food to sustain our bodies. Inner peace and happiness can be obtained with food sharing. Be mindful of all you do, even in what you consume. I have a fence here with dragon tail radish planted on one side. It is grown mostly for the purple seed pods and the delicate flowers on it. We are getting seed pods on them right now as you can see and that is the edible part of the radish compared to roots of most other radishes. Jumping ahead 15 days, we are taking a look at the dragon tail radishes. They do not climb on their own as I was hoping for, but as you can see, they are quite prolific and rather beautiful. The pods are probably a foot long or better. Along the other side of this hoop is the asparagus long bean, yard long bean, which is also going to be vining up this trellis. At the far end of the garden is lemongrass. As we come around the radishes, we come over to the flower bed where we have Celosia. It can be deadheaded two or three times during the summer and has flowers that come back continually. There is a sitting bench for reflection on the bench. I am showing you some of the produce that it has come ready already. There is some cucumbers and this is a daikon radish. It is mild compared to red radishes. It is also considered a winter radish. The sitting area has grown nicely. There are now orange blossoms on the canna lily. And as you can see, the Asian celosia have bloomed further and are quite beautiful with their purple blossoms. Moving along to one side of the garden, there's a dusky eggplant that is growing. It is not flowered as yet. We have jalapenos. They're not growing very fast. They do like warm weather, so I would suspect by August they should be a good three feet high. Next to them is the bok choy. It's looking nice and green, probably should be picked by now. Uh, baby bok choy is much more tender, but the adult leaves can be eaten also. Next to that is the Mizuna Red Kingdom. This is also like a mustard, more so than a lettuce. It gives a great color to salads. Here are the leaves of the daikon radish. They get quite tall and to harvest them you need to dig down quite deeply because of the long taproot. As in almost all cultures, one needs onions. These are yellow onions. This corner of the garden is Thai basil, which has flowered out at this point with delicate purple flowers. 
Lastly, we come over to this corner, passing the onions and the radishes, where I have two cucumbers. These are called market moor cucumbers, and by the looks of them, they'll make a nice pickling cucumber. Thank you for visiting my Asian garden. Thank you.